Hello, my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May, and today's video is going to be another huge Costco haul. We've been going to Costco more often lately because Costco introduced a lot of new items, new holiday items, and a lot of fall season and winter items. So I'm super excited to share with you what we got before we start. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into today's haul. The first item is a pair of shoes, and honestly, I've been buying my shoes only at Costco because recently, I guess ever since I passed 30. Well, it's been it's been two years since I passed my 30. But ever since I was 30, I just suddenly not interested in like how my shoes look. I start to care more about the comfort level of my shoes compared to like how my shoes look. So this is a rain boot, and this is from the brand Tritorin. And this is the waterproof black style is Lena women's rain boots. Ta -da! And this is only like $25 and I don't have any rain boots, especially winter rain boots. And what sold me on this is, okay, it just looks so solid. This is what it looks like. So it looks like a pair of like, you know, regular boots. Like it looks like one of those like fancy boots from the department store. And it's super, super soft and it's super stylish. Like most of the rain boots that you find in the market are pretty ugly looking, but those ones, they're just so stylish. And it has a little bit of heels right here and it's so comfortable. And what sold me on this is actually right here. If you'll take a look, it actually has these like fuzzy, like nice soft materials inside. So you're not stepping into like the super like hard coat, uh, the rain boots. It's actually like kind of like a slipper and it goes all the way to like insides. So it's super, super warm. So I think in winter, even if it's not raining, I think I can just wear this. Right? It's just super, super stylish. I love the way it looks. So I bought the color of black and it's just so comfortable. I tried it in Costco and immediately I was like, $25 is a steal for this pair of shoes. Like, it's just amazing. So I just had to give this pair of shoes a shout out. Like, highly recommend is, oh, this one is on sale. I think $7 off. This is from the brand Templock and this is their thermal flask. So I bought this because they have two new colors and I actually have those, let me show I actually have the bigger version of this, the thermal flask. I think this one is bigger and this one is smaller. So I bought the smaller one because like sometimes I actually don't need a big bottle. Sometimes I'm just going to teach like one yoga class. Like I drank half of this thermal, but it's just so heavy to fill this up. So like I decided to buy the smaller ones, but I think the smaller ones doesn't come with a straw lid. It's just this twist lid. But it's very convenient because I noticed that twist lid is actually like connected and I love the fact that there is a handle So this one is 7 10 mil 24 ounces and it's leak proof. So this one is like way smaller and sleeky um, More sleeky for sure. So I felt like sometimes I don't need the big bottle a smaller bottle will do and this one is easier for me to hold and not to you know, too heavy and I like the fact that there's a handle and it's like leak proof. So it has two colors and it's just such a great deal. I think after the sale, it was like about $15 for two. It's like 7.5 per bottle. So, and then I just felt like I can use it at home as well. But recently I haven't been drinking as much water just because water makes me nauseous sometimes. <laughs> now that I have those pregnancy reactions, I bought a sheet set. This is organic 300 thread count, pure earth, um, king size six piece sheet set. We're hosting our family member tomorrow and we realize like our old sheet, the cover, the bed cover broke and this one is pretty good price. I think it's like $40 for six and it's pure cotton, 100% cotton. So it's like a natural dye or something. This it seems like a pretty environmental friendly product and it feels pretty soft. I'm like, let's go. Very <laughs> budget friendly product. So we got um, one set up though. We bought a lot of food items this haul for a very good reason. So tomorrow we're gonna actually hang out with family and we're gonna do a burger party. And usually I'm not a big fan of burgers, but recently one of my pregnancy cravings is cheeseburger. And I was like, if I crave for cheeseburgers, we might as well make some healthier version of cheeseburgers. Nothing is as good as the Kirkland 100% grass fed beef patties. I made a dedicated review video, I will link it down below. And this is like a 20, 
80% fat, 80% lean, raised without antibiotics or hormones. I like the fact that it's 100% grass fed. And this one has like all these patties. Like, I think this one has like 15 beef patties or something like that. Yeah, 15 beef patties. And it's like $25, I think, from Costco. It's such a good deal for grass fed beef patties. I'm telling y'all. And those are huge patties. Once you have the grass fed beef patties, it's like, impossible to go back to normal beef patties because like the normal beef patties like the fat has like a weird taste it has like a foul taste versus the grass-fed beef like you can taste the difference from the fat and it doesn't have this like a weird greasy taste it doesn't have this like weird foul dead meat taste like uh, i know it sounded gross but like if you're gonna get beef patties like for burgers i highly recommend 100 percent grass-fed beef patty <laughs> <laughs> man you loaded things up Okay, where's that grass-fed patty? It's underneath. It's underneath. Underneath. And that Costco fry. Mm. Hey, you made a really good burger. Thanks. Looking pro. This is my protein style. Here's the grass-fed beef. The lab is on top. I hope it doesn't break. I'm telling you, I made mine look pretty good. Okay, take yeah, a you, bite. Give you us have a, a fancy review. burger. Let me try it out here. With the ciabatta. With, I know, with the, the ciabatta. Fake, yeah, the buns bread. are pretty good. <laughs> it's close I know, <laughs> they're not bad. Mm, that's good to me. Wow, look at that meat. I, I really can take. I can see the smoke ring. I can really? taste the dirt. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Like oh, after, yeah, you can. Like outside edge, you yeah. can see the smoke the ring. As we smoked it instead of normal grilling. Oh, really? Because Adam has a pellet smoker, not a, not a grill. Oh, nice. Okay, good. After you eat the grass-fed beef patties, you can't go back. Good, I'm in the same like, distinct tasting difference, I would say. Yeah. Mm. It's like, yeah, there's like no comparison. Grass, uh, not just a meat and cheese burger. I was gonna say we could feed Chompy, but he's not even gonna be. Love this, love this. 26 grams of um, protein per. So to go with the burgers, I got some tomatoes in the vein. Brenda was like, you should buy the bacon tomatoes. But I think like those tomatoes, like even if we don't use it for our beef patties, like I can actually snack on them. And for salad, it's just like so good. And I do like tomatoes. It's just so, it tastes so refreshing now that I'm pregnant. <laughs> It's like anything tastes refreshing, helps me, anti-nausea. <laughs> okay, so moving on to go with the um, beef patties. Brandon bought these spring mix where you can make some salad on the side. It has baby lettuce, so we can just put it in the middle, like for the beef patties. So like we can eat some ve vegetables, some vegetables when we eat the beef patties. But here's the, here's the catch. I was looking for healthy burger buns at Costco. There is literally none. There is healthy bread. There's some like a variety of healthier bread that you can find in Costco, but we're specifically looking for buns and there is absolutely no healthy burger buns. So Costco, get it together. Cause I was looking at the burger buns. All of the products have soybean oil. Like I'm like, come on, use real butter. So anyways, for some reason, Okay, usually I get the solar bread, but they don't even have the solar bread buns. And my brother-in-law was like uh, specifically saying, can we not have solar buns? Cause it's keto bread, it, it has a different texture. So Brendan decided to get this artesian style, gluten-free, ciabatta uh, buns. So it's a made with corn starch, rice flour, corn flour, apple fiber, but it does have soy protein sunflower oil i don't know i don't think this is healthy either but like at least you are eliminating the gluten just in case you have celiac disease or gluten sensitivities but i don't know but like it's still not the best oil sunflower oil but like oh, and it has a lot of soy and corn products in this and it but it does say it's non-GMO, certified by NSF, certified gluten-free. So I do feel a little bit better that it's non-GMO corn product. We actually bought this bread from Whole Foods. And then this is actually a uh, brand from Texas. It's actually, I think it's a company from Houston. It's the slow dough bread. It tasted so good. I've like um, already had some of the slices. It's just so, so, so good because they use real butter. It's so buttery and soft. They have like the best ingredients and only like 
two grams of sugar, zero grams of added sugar. So like I wish, I wish everyone does things like this. Like they have real butter and sh real sugar. Like oh, I Costco get it together. But like health was just so far away from us. We're like, let's just. Choose a not real bur burger bun. This is not healthy. We need fries for a burger pad, burger party. So we got this golden crinkles French fried potatoes. And honestly, none of the fries that we eat at the restaurants is healthy. So we might as well air fry these. And why is it not healthy? It has vegetable oil blend, soybean, and cotton seed. I think natural coloring. And it's a huge bag, huge, huge bag. But we're gonna take it to my brother-in-law tomorrow for a burger, burger party. And to grill, because we're grilling burgers, we're gonna grill some corn, so I got some corn. Corn in the cup. It's gonna taste really good. I like corn in the cup. My burgers, other than the vegetables and the tomatoes, I'm gonna put avocado um, in the middle. Like, like I just recently, just like very recently found out, like avocado in the burger tastes so good. It's kind of like mayo. It has like a weird mayo taste. It feels like I'm eating burgers with mayo sauce, but it's avocado sauce. Health factors, healthy fatty acids, polyphenols, and antioxidants. Nor many vegetables, organic vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, orange, and yellow carrots. I was gonna get the uh, fire walk vegetables, but they have mushrooms. And one of my pregnancy aversions is I can't eat mushrooms anymore. I can't smell the mushrooms anymore. But this one seems it doesn't have mushrooms and I love broccoli and eat some vegetables and the reason why I buy frozen vegetables these days is like I never know when I crave for what so I'm gonna put it in the freezer so they don't go bad so don't, I don't waste food. The repurchase, this actually filmed a dedicated review video of this one. This is the Pomo One Japanese style noodle teriyaki stir fried udon with mixed vegetable toppings. First of all, just forget about the vegetable toppings, it's like dry vegetables, but I just really like the sauce. Like the flavor is just so good and the noodles is just like real, real wooden noodles. You can microwave, but I usually just use stove top. It works like a wonder. This is actually our second. Oh, here is it. This is our first pack. We have one more back to finish. So this is what it looks like. So this is like the udon noodle. You can see it like it's actually soaked into the water and all sealed the package. And then this is like the each surface individually packaged. And then the vegetable toppings is dry. And the teriyaki seasoning is actually dry too. So I always put a little bit of water when I stir fry it just so that this will actually, you know, melt into like a sauce type of thing. But I really, really like the teriyaki seasoning and the udo noodle texture is just super on point. So I bought another one and I will link the dedicated review video down below. It's just so good. It's not healthy, I know. It's definitely not healthy, especially that seasoning. But hey, when you're pregnant, you eat food for comfort. Sometimes the health factor can wait for the second, until the second trimester. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat this. I'll, I'll film a little clip when we eat this. But I actually already did a taste test of this in one of my hauls. I will actually link it down below to the other video. I filmed so many Costco hauls. Like every time Costco has a new item, especially new Asian item, for sure we've tried this. This is from a friend, El Cattle, and this is a Japanese style cheesecake. Um, so it has two cheesecakes, so honestly I can just save one to myself and then take the other one to the party. I love this cheesecake. Like, I love this. This is authentic. It's not heavy. It's not the New York style cheesecake. It doesn't have that like cookies at the bottom. It's like so soft and fluffy. Like you can just eat the entire cheesecake by yourself. So it's kind of like dangerous and it's not too sweet at all. Like there is no sauce. It's not too sweet. It's not dense. Oh, it's lighter than the air. I really, really, really love this. Like this is my favorite. And back in the days when I used to live in Asia and this is the type of cheesecake we used to have. And then I have my American professor actually went to Beijing with me um, for conferences and then she celebrated her birthday there and she was like, the cheesecake has no flavor. I'm like, oh, it's because we don't put as much sugar in our dessert. We also don't put as, as much as cream, as much as butter, as much as like cream cheese. So it's more like light, like, 
in Asia, desserts are supposed to be light, not like so dense and sweet and ugh. It's supposed to like clean your palate after you eat, not like, oh my gosh, let me eat a heavy, heavier dessert after a heavy meal. So, love this. I swear by this. Naked Juice Variety Pack is on sale. Brandon loves to drink this. I am not a big fan of juice in my entire life, but recently since Water gives me, water makes me nauseous sometimes, so in the morning I do drink a little bit of juice. I do worry a lot about gestational diabetes, I worry a lot. So I'm trying to limit my juice intake by only like half of a cup each time, and when I feel okay, I try to drink like sparkling water and just water. And it's such a weird one, like I always drink a lot of water, and this is the first time ever in my life that drinking water actually upsets me. Oh, so I've never liked drinking juice, but... <laughs> Pregnancy change people and my favorite is actually the apple juice So this one does have like a little bit of that so yeah, and it was on sale So I was like since it's on sale, I can probably buy Hey guys, we're welcome back after yesterday's haul We actually went back to Costco this morning and we bought a bunch of more items um, So I've been thinking about it trying this out, but I never like made the decision but recently since I'm pregnant, I've been like having cravings for Japanese food and I have been having cravings for udon noodles. So I was like, I might as well just make a dedicated video reviewing this and eat the rest. If for some reason I can't finish, I can't always have Ren and bring it to the office <laughs> and he and his friends will eat it. This is a Nongshin Udon Premium Noodle Soup. And what I love about this is like, if you take a look, it's not pre-fried. It's like an actual, like it seems like it's an actual real udon noodles and it has six bowls in there. It's like three dollars a bowl. Udon noodles are a little bit expensive. Like those noodle soups are like ten dollars. When I go to like the boba tea shop restaurants slash restaurants RT. So we're gonna try this out. We're definitely gonna make a dedicated review video for this one. I haven't been eating ice cream for a while, and honestly, ever since I'm pregnant, I don't like sweets as much anymore but mochi ice cream is very special and I've been stealing mochi ice cream from my mother-in-law's freezer and I was like we might as well just buy it for ourselves so this one has it's the my mochi one we've tried it before and when I eat it again I'll give you guys like a little clip so it has six flavors strawberry vanilla and sweet mango I love this like I think in one of my previous hauls I featured this and I did a taste test and my mochi actually commented on my haul like oh I'm so glad you love this yes we love this so so much so yeah we got another thing of this put it in the freezer now go wow, no this is the mochi ice cream inside it's the ice cream outside is the mochi sticky rice wrap so we're eating ice cream in the middle but the wrappers are like the sticky rice wrappers with a little bit of flavor it's not too sweet and super good texture Item. I didn't even know we bought this item. This guy yeah. slipped this into the car and we were checking it out. I was like, when did you get this? I don't remember buying this. This is a Market Street organic chicken and cheese flautas. flautas? This is with chicken meat, corn, black beans, cheddar, Monterey, um, jack cheese, and flavor spices, and a flour slash corn tortilla. So this one, uh, I would say like, it doesn't have a lot of sodium, which is great. It has a lot of protein, which is great. But guess what? They have organic soybean oil, which is not good. Like the oil used in this product is actually not the best. Like personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought this. But then, like, I didn't pay attention. Brand is like, we're gonna buy this. We're gonna eat it in the office. So he's gonna eat it in the office. The next item, this is um, Brenda's grandma's favorite, favorite cookie. And Brenda's gonna go visit um, his grandma tonight, not tonight, this afternoon, in the retirement home, and Brenda's gonna bring this. Um, this is from the Sugar Bowl Bakery, Madeline Cookies. It's buttery, soft, subtly sweet French cake cookies. They are actually very addictive because they're not too sweet. They're like very, very soft and buttery texture. It's like, it has, it's just really good. And I do like this item. It's not too sweet and the ingredient list is actually pretty clean it uses real butter it doesn't have like much questionable ingredients like it's things that you would add when you bake this cookie at home so it's not like too industrial like not too much added additives and stuff and the best is like they individually packaged it so we could literally just open it and save three for ourselves and give the grandma the rest I don't think she's gonna eat the entire thing um, this one I was strongly against it, so we actually went to the store to film a dedicated like shop with me video to see like all the holiday items. And I took a look. I thought it was an interesting concept. This is the modern gourmet cocoa 
cookie cups coated in milk chocolate. So basically it has like 12 cookie cups and you put hot chocolate in there. It comes with hot chocolate mix in the middle. So this is the hot chocolate mix in the middle and the cups and then it seems like a very interesting concept. But if you look at the ingredient list, guess what? It has palm oil, corn oil, ew not the best oil like why can't they just put butter like i don't get it it tastes so much better if you just put butter but like i was like telling everyone in my video i was like this one i do not recommend because of the ingredient list it's not too clean it's an interesting concept it looks really pretty but probably we're not gonna buy it and brennan immediately slipped it into the card at the bottom so oh, guess what we got it since we got it, we might as well try this out. But again, my husband doesn't listen to me when it comes to nutrition and health factors. He only was like, this is so interesting, we're gonna try it. Okay, and then we got some drink items. The first one, I actually drank some of this in my mother-in-law's house and then I think it tasted good. This is the Body Elmer Light Sports Drink. No artificial sweeteners, no sugar added, and it used erythritol to flavor it, which is better than a lot of artificial sweeteners has three flavors peach mango strawberry lemonade and the blueberry pomegranate and it has a lot of vitamins in there it has vitamin c vitamin e vitamin um b12 of folic acid so like it's a pretty pretty good pretty good drink but i just want to caution you if you do decide to drink this don't drink a multiple a day like this is like a vitamin drink so maybe just drink one a day and that's good enough like don't overdose on the vitamin we also got some vitamin water i got this because i really like the orange flavor and it also has vitamins i feel like this one doesn't have as much vitamins compared to the um, body elmer but i think it's a little bit lighter I, I don't want to like eat too much vitamins since i still take prenatal so when it comes to this water i just probably just gonna drink one a day but i really like the orange tangerine flavor but they give you more of the um last flavor the the pomegranate i think no acai blueberry pom pomegranate but my favorite is this one they give you two lemonade two of this but my favorite is the orange flavor so they don't give my favorite flavor a lot but we're just gonna take turns to drink i got some organic apples they smell so good i can't wait to eat them right now organic apples but i would say like the organic food from costco since you buy in big batch like they do go bad really 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 fast i do think like one of them is already going bad so that's like one of the bad thing is like sometimes the organic food at costco we can't finish the entire pack or one of them is already bad after like a day and i got some california grown plums i hope these are good i'm gonna eat one right now Kiwi food organic sun gold kiwis. Those are gold kiwis instead of green kiwis. They're way sweeter than the green kiwis, but it says it says like low glycemic index. I hope, I hope so. <laughs> like every time I feel a little nausea, like eating those like super refreshing fruit definitely helps. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so so much for watching. And if you have anything to recommend, please comment down below. And also if you have any pregnancy tips and like if you have any like pregnancy craving stories, um definitely shared down below this is our first and it's like the first time I experienced something like this in my life I'm like <gasps> who am I? I am not myself anymore so it's kind of like a scary feeling thank you so so much for watching before you go don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon check out my other Costco and Trader Joe's and other food review and vlogs videos in my channel and also shop with me videos that you go into the store with me it's a little bit awkward to film in public so I would say every time I have to mentally prepare myself so definitely check them out all right that's it for today I'll see you in the next one bye